If you're looking to drastically improve the quality of lighting in a few key areas of that S550 Mustang at home, then Axial's Stage 2 LED kit that we have here would certainly be worth a look. Now the Axial kit will apply to all 2015 and newer owners who are looking to add bright white LED lighting to areas such as your vanity, map lights, glove box, and trunk. Now price point for the kit will hover right around 60 to 65 bucks, while the plug and play install will get a soft one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, at least according to the site, and take at least 15 minutes or so to complete from start to finish. But as always guys, hang with me for a bit and we'll walk you through that job later in the video. So in my opinion, this is one of those small mods that really pegs the old bang for your buck meter and that's also echoed throughout the customer review section back on the site. As always guys, I encourage you to check those reviews out if you haven't done so already. Now this extremely popular kit from Axial will replace eight of the dated and dingy factory incandescent bulbs with a more modern, extremely bright LED. These specific areas, again, will be the four vanity lights found in the sun visors, the two map lights, which are located kind of right above your rear view mirror, one bulb in the glove box, and finally one bulb in the trunk area. Now, altogether, this kit will make for a night and day difference, pun intended, in regards to your visibility whenever utilizing each area. The main reason for that drastic improvement is, again, the HP5 style diode, which is, by the way, a step up over the HP3 style found in Axial Stage 1 kit, also available on the site. Now, the HP5 will produce a total of 95 lumens each, and when you compare that to the factory incandescent bulb and their weak 35 lumens, well, you can really see why these will be a better performing option as you are essentially more than doubling your output while also at the same time providing a more uniform or even distribution throughout the interior. The best part is these are completely plug and play, right? There's no need for any additional wiring or resistors or anything like that. You just need to remove the stock bulbs first and insert the axial kit basically in reverse order and you're good to go. Now the site does say this only takes about 15 minutes or so from start to finish, but don't be surprised if it takes you a little bit longer as some of these bulbs can be a little bit difficult to access, such as the glove box. But regardless guys, hang out with me for a bit. We're gonna show you how it's done right now thanks to our detailed walkthrough. Check it out. Tools used for this installation include a small flathead screwdriver and a plastic panel removal tool or pick. All right, getting started here with our install today. We're gonna work with our map lights first and then kind of go to our visors, glove box, and trunk. Uh, with the map lights, pretty easy to do. We just have to drop this housing. It's held on by a couple clips. Give it a firm tug and it should come down. All right, grab it, just pull down. Release the clips. With the housing dropped, now we can access the two bulbs we will be replacing here. Uh, they're right on the other side of these plugs. Basically, just grab it, give it a good tug, and release it from the housing. To remove the bulb, again, just simply give it a pull. It should release from the clip. Grab one of your axial bulbs and plug it in. Always a good idea to test them first. Just make sure they're working fine before you put everything back together. Now that we've tested it and it's working fine, we're just going to reinsert it back into the housing and clip it in. Now we can just go ahead and repeat that process on the other side. Remove the bulb from the housing. Now this will be hot if it's been on for any amount of time, so just be careful, use a towel. Grab that and pull, and plug in our new axial. Now we can just reinsert it into the housing, clip it in. Now we can reinstall our map light housing. Line up our clips. Now we're gonna move on to our vanity light here in our visor. Um, pretty simple to do, just drop it down, of course, flip it open. Your lights are obviously behind these little lenses, so we need to remove these first, and then there are a couple screws behind there that you need to remove in order to drop the uh, housing or the mirror assembly from the visor itself. And at that point, we can go ahead and remove the bulbs. So grab a small flathead, maybe a blade, whatever you have, and we're gonna get behind these lenses first. So I got my blade here, we're gonna get behind the lens, and at that point, just simply pry it off. Being careful not to cut yourself or damage the lens itself. With our lens out of the way, we're gonna repeat that process on the other side. 
So next up, we're gonna remove those two screws and then we can drop this mirror assembly down and change bulbs. With our screws removed, go ahead and get behind the plastic here. Carefully remove it from the visor. With our mirror removed, now we can gain access to the two tiny little light bulbs. Uh, these are pretty hard to get out with your bare hands, so whatever method you prefer. Um, I have seen people use needle nose pliers, that's fine. You might run the risk of actually breaking the bulb itself and leaving the socket in the housing, that's never good. Uh, I still find that using a small flathead screwdriver like this is easier to get it in the housing here or behind the bulb and just kind of pry it out. We're just going to repeat that here on the other side, get your flathead behind the bulb, pry it out. With our factory bulbs out of the way, now we've got our tiny little axial here. We're going to throw it in in reverse order, just kind of slide it into the housing or the socket and do the same on the other side. With both of the LEDs in place now, you can always just hit this little switch to test them out. There we go, they're working just fine. So now we can reassemble our mirror. All right, now we can reinstall our mirror assembly. We're gonna try dropping the bottom in first. There we go. There it is, all right, so now we can reinstall our screws. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our lens covers. Try to get them, get the tabs in place, snap them in. There you go. Now you can repeat that process on your passenger side visor. With our visors and map light knocked out, we're gonna move into the glove box now uh, to gain access to the light bulb in there. Pretty easy to do really, but what makes it a lot easier is if you drop the glove box completely down. So make sure you empty everything out first and then drop it down like we're about to do right now. To drop down your glove box, you just basically have to get this little arm here disengaged. So slide it up and remove it. And then while it's dropping, there are two sides that you kind of need to pinch as you're dropping it down and that will let it swing completely down and out of the way. the glove box out of the way. Now basically just grab your manual shelf here and just kind of swing that out of the way. And that'll give us access to the bulb, which is right up here. The bulb itself is located in a plastic housing up here that's in a spring-loaded housing, basically that turns the light bulb on every time you drop the glove box. So in order to swap the bulbs, we're gonna go ahead and get our small flathead screwdriver again, get behind that plastic, and then gently pry it out. So now what we're gonna do is just basically take our small flathead screwdriver, get behind the bulb again, and pop it out. Put the stock bulb out of the way, just grab one of our axials here, plug it in in reverse order. Now we're gonna reinstall our housing here and harness back up into the hole, making sure we get this little spring-loaded clip to go through that hole because that's going to turn the bulb on every time you drop your glove box. Now before we button everything back up, never a bad idea again to test, so we'll key on here. And there you go. As you can see, it's working just fine. We'll hit our switch. It shuts off, so we're good to reassemble our glove box. So we're going to start here, of course, with our manual holder. We'll clip that in place followed by our glove box. To reinstall again, you're gonna to wanna to pinch these two sides to clear the little knobs, and then once you clear those, we'll reconnect our arm. There we go. Grab our arm, connect it. 
Good to go. We can move on to the trunk. Our final light bulb is in the trunk, guys. So in order to remove the housing, we got to locate it basically right under here. Uh, you should be able to push it over to the passenger side and then drop it out. Uh, in some cases, you might need to use your little trusty flathead to help pry it out as well. So let's tackle that next. So again, sometimes you should be able to slide this over and pull it down. Ours is being a little stubborn, so I'm gonna get my flathead in there and help release the clip. With our housing released from the rear deck lid, now we can actually go ahead and remove our factory bulb. Again, it's hot, it's been on. Um, definitely don't want to use your fingers here, but you also don't want to use anything metal because if you touch these two contacts together, you will pop the 10 amp fuse. So we got a plastic pry tool. We're going to remove our bulb right now. Get the stocker removed, go ahead and grab your new axial bulb and insert it in reverse order. A little tricky if you got big hot dog fingers like me. There we go. Now that's working fine, we'll go ahead and reinsert the housing back into the deck lid, starting close to the passenger side, clip it in. And with the housing in place, that's gonna wrap up this pretty easy install of Axial Stage 2 LED Interior Lighting Kit, available for your 2015 and newer Mustang at home. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed this review and install, and keep in mind for more cool products and videos like this, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.